Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go about replacing the O-rings in a denture. I'll talk about how to determine the correct O-ring to use, how to remove the old one if it's still present, and finally, how to insert the new one. And to clarify, I'll be talking about the O-rings for ball abutments, which are a type of stud attachment. Ball abutments aren't as common as they used to be, so you probably won't see them as much as the more popular locator attachment system, but they're still a great attachment, there's still a lot of patients that have them, and they still need to be serviced. And they consist of three parts. The actual ball abutment, which is either attached to an implant or to a root post. The housing, which gets processed into the denture. And finally, the O-ring, which fits inside of the housing and allows the housing to achieve retention with the ball abutment. All right, so the first step is to determine which O-ring you need if you don't already have that information. There are a couple of different ways you can do this, and the first is just to measure the ball abutment. And the place to take that measurement is at the narrowest portion of the neck. But to get an accurate measurement, you'll need to use a precision digital caliper. The size differences between the O-rings can be as little as two-tenths of a millimeter, which you won't be able to pick up with a Bowley gauge. Of course, taking this measurement can be difficult to do intraorally, so we recommend taking an impression of the stud attachment, pouring that up in stone, and then measuring the model. Alternately, if there is still an O-ring intact within the prosthesis, you can put impression material directly into the housing, let it set up, and then measure that. You can then cross-reference the measurement with the O-ring replacement size chart from our friends over at Preet. You'll find a link to that chart in the description below. Another option is to test multiple sizes until you find a good match. In fact, Preet sells a great combo pack that includes five different sizes that can be evaluated. You can try each O-ring until you find the one that fits the best over the ball abutment you're working with. And sometimes it's possible to determine the correct O-ring by doing a visual comparison instead. By matching both the inner and outer diameters, you may be able to pick the ideal replacement. Of course, to do a visual comparison, you'll need to remove the old O-ring from the housing. And to do this, you'll need an instrument with a sharp point, such as an explorer. Stick your instrument directly into the O-ring, and then pull inward and upward to remove it. Before you replace the insert, it's a good idea to clean the inside of the housing. You can do this by adding a small amount of Vaseline to a micro brush and rotating it around the inside. And to insert the new O-ring, we highly recommend the O-ring insertion tool, which can also be purchased from Preet. This tool has two ends, one larger and one smaller, and the one you use will depend on the size of the O-ring you're replacing. So first, remove the tip from the end that you'll be working with and insert the O-ring. And the easiest way to do this is to set the O-ring on a flat surface and seat the insertion tip on top of the O-ring, pushing down so that the O-ring gets pushed inside of that tip. With the O-ring in place, you'll now use the tool to push the O-ring farther into the tip by slowly rotating the tool while applying gentle pressure. You wanna make sure that the O-ring doesn't turn sideways in that tip so that it stays in the same orientation. Once the O-ring has been pushed far enough that it's just about to protrude out the other end, center the tip on the housing and push down on the tool which will force the O-ring out of the tip and into the housing. This can be a little tricky the first few times you try it, but if you don't succeed the first time, just place the O-ring back in the tip and repeat the process. All of the products I mention here can be purchased directly from Preet using the links in the description. And if you are one of our customers, we would be happy to order those for you as well. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.